What, what happened was that this has gotten so bad that Conservatives tabled their motion in the House requesting that all documents related to SDTC that the government of Canada have be turned over to the clerk, the law clerk of the House of Commons, who would then to turn them over to the RCMP for criminal Completely redacted documents. Uh, 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 the, uh, un, totally yeah. unredacted. So what happened was when the Prime Minister's personal department, the Privy Council Office, sent out the order to fulfill that, they told departments to black out documents based on their view of the Privacy Act and the Access to Information Act. So all the documents came back, but they were all blacked out. They ran out of toner in the Prime Minister's <laughs> office. And they were so blacked out that what happened was on the first day back, our House leader, Andrew Scheer, raised a point of personal privilege. When the House of Commons uh, members vote, and that was a majority vote, so the Bloc, the NDP, and the Conservative voted for that motion to have those documents turned over, voted. That that command is absolute. The government doesn't get to to choose out of that. It's it's a four or five hundred year old precedent about the supremacy of Parliament. In fact, King Charles I lost his head over defying Parliament. So in this case, they defied Parliament by redacting it out. So we launched a personal privilege saying you can't do that. The speaker, the Liberal speaker, Greg Fergus, found that the government defied the order of the House by blanking out what they thought was sensitive, and that's not what the order said, and it he called it what's called a prima facie case of privilege, which means that the privilege of members of parliament uh, to represent their constituents and to do their job in the House has been breached by this government in a cover-up. That's what that was about. That's what our leader was asking about. And the prime minister and the government have this lame claim that there's only one way to start a police investigation. Mm -hmm. And that's that if the police want to investigate something and they need documents, they have to go to court and get right. it. Well, that's, that's just silly. Because you know, and as I know, in our previous careers, business careers, people watching, if you find an employee that's been stealing money, it's not only your right, it's your obligation as an employer to turn that information over the police, have it investigated. The police don't have to go to court. They don't have to wait right. to go to court. The, the employer can give it over. Well, we're the employer on behalf of the people of mm -hmm. Canada and SDTC. The House of Commons has the right because we appropriate the billion dollars they got to ask for those documents. First of all, we have every right to ask for those documents. Mm -hmm. And secondly, we have every right to say it should be turned over to the RCMP. And yes, it's the RCMP's right to review them and decide what they want to do with them. Absolutely.